Good morning, everybody, for those that have joined. Sorry about a slight late start, just a little bit of connection issues. Okay, so as everybody slowly starts to connect, we had a little bit of a slow start this morning. I'm going to move myself back. Welcome to those that are starting to join. We had a few connection issues this morning. But so glad to see all of you arriving to your class. We will start just after eight. So for those that have joined, grab yourself a towel and some light hand held weights or some water bottles, whatever feels more comfortable. For those that are joining, I'll just give you a little bit of a feedback. I'm Donna Rossa, and I am from the Wellness Blog and The Place of Woman. I have worked in women's wellness for just over 20 years. And um, yeah, I'm really excited to bring this class to Women's Health South Africa. Um, working with women for all of these years, I've really learned about how we move in our everyday functions from pregnancy to post-pregnancy, and then just as our body ages and the variations that we need to make to make us move more fluid. And I must say it's only over the last couple of years that I've really um, learned to connect all our movements from the deep core, which includes all of our breathing muscles and the muscles that lie closest to the spinal structure of the body. So when I talk about the deep core today, I'm talking about our diaphragm. So everything that we do today, we're gonna to start with the breath and um, from the breath we connect up into our pelvic floor and a lot of the times through movement we forget to connect the pelvic floor and um, it's an area that as women goes through a lot of changes through pregnancy and postpartum and um, so connecting that into a movement is so beneficial and so important because that is where the movement of the deep core starts so today we start with the breath connecting up into the deep core then we work through our transverse abdominals, which is the muscle that connects closest to the spine and to our pelvis. And that is what gives us the mobility to just be able to move and move without pain. And 
over the years, I think that is the biggest thing I found with women is that we are always struggling with lower back pain, especially in a Pilates class. A lot of the movement is into the back. Um, so there are two things that we're going to use today for support. And one is a towel. And then later, it's just the position of the pelvis as well. So for those that are, have joined, welcome to the class. We are going to take your towels. So I'm going to set you up so long. So take a towel, fold it up, and you're going to place that underneath your pelvis. So that allows your pelvis to be able to roll forward and it places you in a really beautiful neutral spine. So through the class today, we're also going to be um, just leading you through the class of movement and, and just getting your position of your body in a perfect neutral spine. So for those that are joining, um, welcome. I'm just going to continue with the class and um, at the end I will have some questions. If you have any questions, I can do those answers and or you can um, send them into Women's Health and we can answer them after the class. So let's get comfortable either sitting on a towel or without a towel. If you have any issues with your knees, you can have your legs straight. Otherwise, just be cross-legged, chest open, and let's just start the morning with a beautiful side body bend. So we're going to inhale with the arm up. Supporting down, we're going to exhale and just lengthen through the fingertips and bring it all the way back up again and windle the arms to inhale. And then just exhale, soften the body into the movement and bring it all the way back up again, inhaling. Using the breath to exhale and just windle. Now we're going to rotate the body and feel the stretch across your back. A lot of us struggle with the tightness across the scapula. So use the stretch to open up across the back, taking the movement over. We're breathing in and out as we rotate. Feel the stretch. Pull it back to center and up and over. So our first twist of the day, let your shoulders relax down your back. Inhale, exhale, twisting the body hand on the knee, and side body bend over. So now we're bringing in the ribs and the thoracic spine. Bring it all the way up, inhale, and exhale. Just release through those shoulders and side and twist again. Inhale, exhale, side body bend over. Feel that thoracic spine, that's an area of the body, especially if you're sitting at a desk all day that takes so much of the tension, and then release into it again. Gentle drop of the head. And lift tall through the crown of your head and drop to the other side and back up to center shoulder rolls down your back beautiful so let's move on to our mat so still using the towel turning to the side we're going to place the towel underneath your pelvis if you feel you don't need that support of the towel then don't worry about it you don't have to use the towel so from here placing your hands on the pelvis all we're going to begin here is just by rocking the pelvis. So here we're just starting to mobilize the sacrum. So the sacrum is that triangular bone that sits at the bottom of your spine and takes all of the weight of the body. So a lot of the times if your sacrum is out, especially if you've just had a baby, that is where we start to struggle with the lower back and pain within the pelvis as well. So here we just start connecting our breath as we're rocking the pelvis backward and forward. Feel the hip bone sliding into the sockets as we imprint and then releasing it away. Let's do one more. And then back to center and hold. So in your neutral spine is the closest point of belly button to that sacrum. And from here, you've got that small gap. If you've got the pillow, it takes you into neutral anyway. So from here, inhale, exhale. We're going to float the left leg up to tabletop without shifting in the pelvis. And then slowly lower it down. And inhale, exhale, gather it up, lifting the right knee up, and then lower. So I start with this very simple movement, because if you start to feel movement within your pelvis when you are walking your legs like this, then you know that you aren't connecting to your deep core muscles. The towel is really a wonderful tool just to help stabilize the pelvis. And by just working and testing the body with this simple movement, we know that we are working in the right place and we're coming from the right position and muscles holding the leg up now without shifting the pelvis we're going to float the second leg up if your pelvis moves then you know that you're not connecting into those deep core muscles and let's use the breath again so we inhale exhale contract pelvic floor floating the one leg up hold the pelvic floor as you lift your second leg up and hold it here layering on we're going to toe tap as you inhale let the pelvic floor release 
and exhale, gather the pelvic floor up, connect, feel these muscles in the deep core starting to connect. So inhale to lower with the opposite leg and exhale. So today we're going to work very slowly and very consciously because that allows you to connect the breath to the body and it also allows you to focus on your alignment instead of us rushing through the exercise and then pull back using these lower core muscles. So test here is that your pelvis is not shifting. There's no rocking and rolling of the mobility of the pelvis. We're nice and stable in the hips. Let's do one more inhale and exhale, holding it here. Now knee fold, we're gonna take both knees to open and we're gonna gather them as we're rolling the hips back to center, still with a hip width apart between the inner thighs. So we're going to use the breath here again. So we're going to inhale to open. Now exhale, actively con um, contract the pelvic floor and use these lower abs. So it's an inhale to open and exhale. Let's extend the arms to the ceiling. Let's do one more. If you feel you don't need the support of the towel, just take the towel out, especially if you do already have done Pilates for years. You don't need the towel. It just helps and makes the, the movement slightly more accessible. All right, now only the left leg is going to open as we inhale and exhale using the pelvic floor to pull. Now we're gonna go left leg, right arm, so we're working in opposition of the body and now dragging from the center of the core. Staying on the side, we're gonna do four to the side and pull. So it's left leg, right arm to inhale and exhale, gather it all back up. With again, with a simple exercise like this, I want you to focus on the breath and make sure that you're firing into the correct muscles and pull to center. To the other side, we're going right knee and then drag it back through the pelvic floor. So it's right knee, left arm, working in opposition of the body. Inhale and exhale, gather it all back up again. Let's do two more, inhaling and exhale. Such a lovely feeling just to feel connected to the body, feeling those deep core muscles holding it here, and then gently lower one leg and lower the other leg to release. So going back into your neutral spine again. Neutral, like I always say to my ladies, is pop a blueberry at the bottom of your spine and make sure your little blueberry is safe. So I want you to grab your weights if you're using weights and pop those on your hips. We're going to do a turnout. I'm going to do a bridge lift with a variation of a turnout. So your heels are together. Your feet are apart, you can always put a big fat size of pizza between your feet and then lift your heels off the floor. And from here, we actively lift the pelvis. And again, you can shift this towel away if you feel you don't need that support. So from here, shoulders are open and relaxed. You're resting your weights onto your hips for that extra bit of stability and push through the hips. We're lowering the pelvis down to a hover above the mat and we're pushing back up through the heels of your feet. So your, heel, your heels don't lower and lift, just the pelvis lowers and lifts. So this is your bridge lift, so same principles apply. As we lift, we contract up into your pelvic floor, and as we lower, the pelvic floor releases. So let's connect the breath. We're breathing out to connect, and we're breathing in to release. So don't push too hard into the heels, otherwise you might cramp into the hamstrings. I want you to just feel that connection into the, the pelvis. Again, just working slowly so that you can work on the alignment of the body. Let's extend the arms to the ceiling and as we lower the arms, open wide and exhale, we pull everything together. So the tendency here as well is to tilt the pubic bone towards you. Try not, try and let the movement come from your heels squeezing together. So inhale, let's pattern the breath with the movement and contract through the pelvic floor. So inhale, pelvic floor releases, and exhale, everything gathers back up again to squeeze. Four more, inhale, and exhale. And if you're lucky, you might get a few little shivers and shakes in your legs, and contract. Use those deep muscles of the core, let it connect into the pelvis, let it give you a really beautiful upright spine for lovely long posture, especially for my ladies that sit and work at a desk, or for those that are carrying their babies all day and feeding, okay, holding it here. Now from here, we're going to lower the weights to your hips again. Only the legs are going to work. So you're gonna release the knees, root the heels, and now wrap your legs together as if you're squeezing a tiny little ball between your inner thighs. 
Inhale, so there's no lowering and lift. It's just a pull to squeeze and then release. So the rotation comes through the heels to squeeze the body together. Two more, inhale and exhale, wrap. Inhale, release. And exhale, wrap. Now we'll bring movement. So we lower the body, lift and squeeze. Again, we can reach the arms up, wrap and squeeze. If you're cramping, lower the heels to the floor. I don't know if you can see my legs, but that's shaking. And wrap. Five more, wrap. Think of really powering your legs with this one for five. And four. And three, keep rooting those heels, squeeze them together, contract up through the pelvic floor as your legs wrap. Holding it here, pull, pull, pull through the pelvic floor, lower the heels and lower the glutes to the floor and release. Okay, parallel through your legs. You're welcome to pop your tail back there again. Into ribcage placement, a tendency as your arms go back is for your ribs to fling with you. But I want you to slide your ribs down and think of keeping that beautiful neutral spine. So I want us to take the arms back and just hold them here. We're going to inhale. As you exhale, contract into the pelvic floor and slide the left leg away and see whether your pelvis shifts and moves. Pull back. If it does shift and move, you know that you aren't actively connecting into the deep core muscles. We're just lengthening the legs. By extending the arms, you're putting a little bit more pressure into the rib cage. So just using that breath, just gently layering on. And breathe out, contract pelvic floor to extend and bring it back and bring the arms above you. Lifting one leg to tabletop, second leg to tabletop and hold. Now our position, we're going to go left leg, right arm and keep the center of the body still and bring it back. So let's use the breath. Inhale to prepare. Exhale, opposite arm and leg reach away, gather up through the pelvic floor and feel absolutely long through the body. So we're breathing out. And inhale to pull back. Again, if this creeps into the lower back, just pop your towel back underneath the pelvis and that just takes you back into that neutral spine. It just gives you that beautiful support and lift. Okay, great. You all do wonderfully. <laughs> and pull it back to center for more. So it's an extension and a pull. Breathe out. Don't forget to connect those lower abs. So zip everything in. Don't tilt your pubic bone. And last one, hold and bring it back to center. From here, inhale. Exhale, start to roll your body up. If you've just had a baby, you're going to keep your head down. Shoulders locked down your back. I want you to drop your weights for this one and take your hands comfortably behind your head. And then lower your head so you feel the length coming out through the top of your head. And your pelvis is neutral. Toe taps. We just tap. Tap again, just long through your spine. No pressure in that lower back. Feel super comfortable in the body. For five, four, three, two, one. Holding it here now with a little scoop. So we scoop the pubic bone towards you and then we extend both double leg away, zip through the body. So it's an inhale scoop. So it's a tiny tilt and a push. Again, we don't want this in the back. We want those hips stable. We want that extension through the legs. Should nice, feel a nice activation into these lower abs for five. And your upper body stays still. There's no crunching. We only here for that stability of the upper body push. Two more. Breathe out. Bring the legs together and wrap everything back in again to release. From here, grab your weights again. Let's bring only the right hand up and the opposite left leg and then lift your head, neck and shoulders, supporting through your head or no support at all. So again, we reach away in opposition, so the center of your body is holding you stable and then we're bringing everything back together. So it's a reach away and then breathe out. So I don't want you to force this movement. I want you to feel long in the body. Use the breath to connect again into those deep core muscles. And when we work with the breath like this, we're patterning the body. So the more you connect and work in a conscious way, you're going to move like this through your day. Four more. And three. Two. 
two, and one, bring it back to center, and then we're going to switch around left arm, right hand support, you'll get an opposite arm leg, reach away in that opposition, inhale, exhale, we cross. So don't think of twisting the spine, keep the spine long, but slide the ribs down, make sure that your sacrum, the bottom part of the pelvis, it's just gentle on the mat. There's no tilting of the pubic bone. Use your breath for more. Breathe out and breathe in. Breathe out and in. For two. And last one, bring it back to center. Bring the leg weight to the floor. Head is still up. Lift one leg. Last leg for our scoop. So it's a little scoop and an extension. Scoop and slide those ribs without tilting the pubic bone, extend it. With this exercise, I want you to feel long in the body. Tilt and push. So again, for my ladies in postpartum, if you've just had a baby, your head is going to stay down and we're gonna extend. So anybody can keep their head down as well, or pop that tie for more. And three, two, and one, bring it back to center, hug into it, and release. All right, from here, coming onto your side. Again, for my ladies that just had a baby, you will pop that towel underneath your tummy to support any separation in the tummy. Otherwise, we are going to go onto our side body, making sure that your ear, shoulder, and elbow are all in alignment. Your legs are going to be straight, your bottom leg in front, top leg behind. And we're going to lift just the pelvis off the floor. And if you want, you can use your weight here as well. Okay, so here we go. We're going to pull under, wrapping through the, the inner thighs and wrapping with the abdominals. And again, no weight is needed. If you feel this in the neck, you're going to lower your hips and only do the arm rolls. Four more, breathe out and in. Breathing out. And in. So here we're working all the side obliques, wrapping them to keep a nice strong side body. And last one, bring it up, lower through the pelvis and the hips, and lower through the arm. All right, into our side body. So grab your towel for neck support. We're going to place the towel on the arm. Your legs pull in so that your shoulder, hips, and your heels are aligned. We're going to tuck that arm in, working rotator and the leg. So let's lift the feet off the floor and open our legs into a diamond position. Your hips slide away so that you're engaging into these lower abs and tuck the arm into the side body. So as the knee lowers, your arm lowers, and we both lift arm and leg. So inhale to lower and exhale. So let's just check in with the parts of the body that we're working here. The arm is working your rotator cuff. So this to me is just one of those muscles in the arm that was just so super important. So if you are a lady or a woman that sits at a desk all day, this muscle in the shoulder, the rotator, it's a set of four muscles, takes so much strain and pressure to keep the body in an upright, beautiful posture. So by working at this in this very gentle way, you're starting to activate it. Your diamond is your diamond in the legs that is working the hip stability, holding it here. Lower the knee to the knee and lower the feet to the floor. We reach the arm to the ceiling and turning the palm to face you. So from here, we're going to take the arm over, keeping that lovely rib cage placement again, and then tuck the arm in. Let's extend the leg as well, so that you can feel that length in the body. So one thing I don't wanna see is that your shoulder comes with you towards your ear. Try to stabilize that, zip your belly as you extend, and then pull back to center. Lengthen that leg away from you. And again, this is just one of those exercises where you can feel long in the body. Two more, breathe out, and breathe in, breathing out, and pull to center, hold, arm reaches up. Now lower the arm to the floor as you take your leg back, tilt your pelvis slightly forward, and then reach everything, flex through your foot, and lengthen. So with that lowering here, yeah, try not to crush into the chest. I want your chest to feel open and then the scapula across the back to feel long. You don't want to 
think of using a very heavy weight here. Either these are very small little intrinsic muscles that we working that give us the stability of the body. Let's do two more. Make sure that your neck is comfortable. Sit through the belly, always connecting through your breath here as well. So we breathe out and breathe in. And let's do one more breathing out. And then bring the leg back, reach the arm up. And again, we're just going to tap into the elbow and toss it, press up and release. So using the breath, connecting those lower abs, making sure that you've got that lovely little gap in the bottom of your obliques. Four more, for four, for three, for two, and one. Lower into it. One of the most important stretches that I do with most women is the chest stretch. So let your head be heavy and just slide the weight, bring those knees in across through the body. Let the pec stretch, let the chest stretch, let your shoulder stretch, and then release to open. If you can just do one stretch a day, I would do this stretch. It's such an important stretch to open up through the side body. All right, coming up, and then switch to the other side. So grab your towel and your weight, and then slide down. Oh, actually, let's stay up. <laughs> We've got to do our side oblique. So from here, bottom leg is forward, and top leg behind, and grab your weight. So here again, your ear, shoulder, and elbow all aligned, and then float your hips up. If that doesn't feel right, keep the hips down, and just do the arms and reach it up. So from here, we feed the arm through, engaging the obliques, and then we reach to lengthen. So long through the spine. This is one of those side legs that I actually do like. I'm not a plank lover. And reach and rotate. So this is the one exercise that you do to start to push away those little flabby bits on the sides of the tummy. And this is actually just one of those nice ones. Three more. And lift for two, reach it up, and one more. Lift, lengthen, lower through the hips, and release it down. All right, into the side body, doing the exact same as we did on the other side. So starting with the comfort in the legs, so your knees are open, feet are lifted, slide your hips away from the body, and tuck that arm in. So as the knee lowers, the elbow drops down. And then we rotate back up again. So it's an inhale and an exhale. Try not to squish your shoulder blades together as the arm opens. Always think of these as really gentle exercises. So today we are just working all the really small intrinsic muscles of the body. That is what gives your body stability. It lets your body move with fluidity and without pain. So I always believe there is a time and a place for big exercise. I love combining the two. I don't think it's all or nothing. This is just one of those where we can work slowly and connect into the muscles that really lengthen the spine. All right, last one. Holding it up here, lower the knees, lower the feet, reach the arm to the ceiling, turn the palm to face you. So we reach the arm overhead, shoulder locks down and reach it back up to tuck it in. Let's extend that leg. So it's a lengthen. This is where you've got to work in opposition of the ribs. You don't want your ribs to flare and go with you. So it's an extension and a tuck. Breathe out and a breathe in. Beautiful, you guys. Always feeling graceful in your movement, feeling graceful in the way you carry yourself. Three more. For three. I think when you get into our 40s, we tend to look for exercise that nourishes us. And last one. And pull it back to center and bring that lean back again. And from here, reach it up. We're going to lower the arm. Don't crush the chest. Think of opening it up and let's bring the leg in again. So the leg goes back as the arm reaches, your pelvis does. Tilt slightly forward and we can flex into the foot. And then we reach. So don't dump the ribs into your mat. Feel the precision of the movement. Breathing with it. And then exhale. And extend. 
feel that opposition. And I also love patterning of the breath. So when you pattern the breath, you're using the breath in the movement. Like I said earlier, you then, like anything, if you repeat something often, you just do it naturally. So when you pattern your breath, you'll use this breath in your everyday movements, holding a chair, bring the knee back, and tricep press from here. We push eight and seven. I'm going to repeat this tricep press in our seated arm series, which we'll do in a minute. And extend. Nice. Keep going for five, four, three, two, and reach it all the way, and then lowering it back down to the mat into our chest stretch. Just slide the mat away and towel away, and then lengthen across the chest, over, and let the weight. Sink the shoulder, let your ribs and your hips face forward. And again, if you can do just this one stretch every day, you will feel the difference. And then slowly coming back up to a seated position. All right, so for this next bit, I want you to use a towel because it does help your body get into a neutral spine. So coming back to seated, sitting on the tail so that you're getting yourself into that really lovely upright posture of the body. And we're going to use both the weights. Now, I'm only using a 1K. If you want to use heavier, you're more than welcome. Crossing the legs or straight arms. We're going to bring the arms out in front of you like you're hugging a big beach ball. And then just relax the shoulders down and back. We're going to open up the arms. You're welcome to tuck here if you're feeling this in the neck. Otherwise, we're going to try and keep the arms on the same plane. So we're breathing out to open. Don't take them further than the shoulders. We don't want a feeling of opening to and stretching the chest. Your chest is just soft. The back where your scapula sit, don't think of squeezing those together as well. Think of just long, rooting your sit bones into the mat. Let's do three more. Try and keep that plane. Your elbows are up. You're hugging a nice big beach ball. Hug it all in. And now we're going to take the arms back. We're going to internally rotate them. Shoulders lock down your back and we extend your palms face the ceiling. Your body's tilting forward and we lift for eight, seven. Make these tiny little movements right back into those tricep muscles. Four more, three, two, four, one. And now we're going to slowly rotate it back nice and slowly. We're going to hug that ball in again and we're going to open it up and then hug it in. Think of opening through the chest without crushing the back body. And now we rotate again. So we internally rotate, shoulders lock down and back. Roll those shoulders, be long. Four of you, for four. Squeeze those back, lovely postural muscles of the arms. This is what carries us, makes us long and extra tall. Hold, now rotate the palm down without taking it into the neck. Pulse again for four, three, Squeeze deep into those muscles. Those are hard. Hold, bring it all the way back. And now we're just going to flow into it. So we're going to go back into that internal. And we pulse for four, three, two, one. Switch down with the palm for four, three, two, and one. Reach it up. You should start getting a few tired arms. And internally rotate again. Last set. And lift for four, three, two, one and rotate down, pulse four. So I always say to the ladies in my studio, if you feel this in the neck, I'd rather you just drop the weights and do this series without any weights. Let's just open to stretch and close and one more. And now we're going to lift. I'm going to drop one arm just for little pulses, just to release, little lift for four, three, two, one, and then drop it down, lift and open. And let's lower that one. I just want to give those arms one second break. Bring them in, little pulses, four, three, two, one. Dip it in, reach it up, and bring both up again. And then opening it up, shoulders lock down your back. From here, we're rotating down. Think of resting your arms on a table. And then use your breath to rotate those arms up. So it's an inhale, breathe out. Think of ribs, no flaring of the ribs, rooting your sit bones into the mat. 
holding it here. From here, we're going to tuck the one arm in and extend, slight side body bend, tricep press again here yeah, for five, four. You can rest the opposite arm on the floor, two, and reach, and then let's switch it around. Extend, and we push for five, four, three, don't feel this in the neck, just be heavy in the head. And then we switch it over, push. Feel long in the spine, no pressure in the neck. Don't hit your head with your weight. Two more. And lengthen and switch it around. Feel really fluid in this one. Feel strong in the arms. Feel open through your chest. Use the back arms and triceps. Reach and last set, switch it up. And pulse five. Four, three, two, one. Bring it all the way back. Both arms up again, shoulders lock. Let's lower. This time we're going all the way down, halfway up, and all the way up. So half, all the way, half, and up. Two more. And drop, lift, reach, and last one. Half, lower. Half lift, shoulders lock, it'll push forward and back. Forward and back. Try not to pull those scapular muscles together and push. Ribs don't flare, two more. And last one, tuck those arms in, roll through your shoulders and lengthen them all the way out and all the way down to release. All right, so from here, you can still keep your towel under your, under your bottom if you want to. So we're going to turn them to the side, two more exercises, and then you are done. So we're going to be long in the spine. We reach it tall through the body, shoulders locked down your back. So from here, we're going to roll just off your sit bones, sitting through the belly, shoulders lock. We're going to open the arms to a T. We're going to tuck them in. We're going to extend them away, and then we're going to reach them all the way up again. So we're going to roll off the sit bones, open, tap them in, push it away, and then lift tall. I'm going to do two more like that. Tap, reach, and pull, and last one. And tap, reach, and pull. Lift tall. I want you to take the towel out now. So for my postpartum ladies, you will continue with that. For anybody that has any abdominal back pain, you will also continue with that. Otherwise, we're going to go into our full roll-up. We're going to roll just off our sit bones, be long in the spine. You're going to open up your arms, tuck them in just to give you a little challenge. Push them away, reach them to center, and now very slowly just start to connect one vertebra at a time into your mat. Keep the ribs down as we extend. So keep that rib cage placement. Reach it up. Inhale, exhale. Start to curl the body. And again, you're also welcome to pop the towel under the lower back to give you that support. Let's do two more. Inhale, lift. Exhale, roll just off your sit bone. Shoulders lock, open. Tuck it in. Push. Bring it back. And then very gently, just start to feel the body connecting into your mat. Slow release, all the way over, and lengthen. Last one, inhale, and exhale, curl the body up. And forward, I just want to do one half one for the spine. Open up, tuck the arms in, reach them away, and forward, pull. And lift. Beautiful, everybody. Pop your weights away. Let's go onto your front body. So you lie onto your thighs, and we are on the forearms of the body. Shoulders are nice and relaxed. So from here, you can either place your hands together. Your feet are flat. If you cramp, you're going to tuck your toes. So we're going to go up into a gentle plank here, but not a full one. From here, inhale. I want you to exhale. Curl your pelvis up. And rest your body just above your knees. You've got that lovely flat back. And now very slowly start to roll yourself down over the front of your thighs. 
and then lift and lengthen and stretch. So your pelvis is neutral, your shoulders are down your back. Inhale, exhale, contract pelvic floor, and slowly start to curl the body back, long span, and now lift the pelvis off the ground, and then just very slowly drop the knees again, and then control it down the front of your thighs, and release. Okay, this is the last one. We're gonna hold this one. So we curl first off on the knees, then we lift long, hold, holding long spine for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, but now it's the control down. Roll it down the front of the thighs, release, and to relax. One of my favorite stretches to do is lying on your backs. I want you to separate your legs as wider than your mat. And then very gently let both your knees fall in towards each other. So now we're taking the pelvis and we're rotating it in. And we're taking a bit of pressure out. <clears throat> and take your right knee and drop it a little bit deeper than the left one. You should feel that really lovely stretch coming up the psoas muscle, which is in the hip flexor. And it attaches the top and the bottom part of the body. And then we're going to take it over to the other side. Just let that lovely stretch and embrace the stretches. And then back to center and windscreen wipe. And let's take the arms wide as well. Just allow your body to stretch. We are every day on the go, go, go. And we sometimes feel guilty giving our body the stretch. Don't, knowing that the stretch just pulls you back into alignment is enough reason for you to know that you should do them. And then toe heel your body back in. Hug the knees into the body. For those of you that don't know the connection of your deep core, I just want to end you with that. So placing your feet to the floor. Place your hands on your belly, one on the ribs, one on your lower belly. What I want you to feel is as you breathe in, I want you to feel your lower belly start to rise. And as you breathe out, just release everything back down towards the mat again. So just let everything relax. As you breathe in, your belly begins to rise. That's the diaphragm that pushes down. And as you breathe out now, I want you to gather up into your pelvic floor and feel these muscles between your two hip bones switching on. So we inhale, the belly rises. And as you breathe out, you gather up through the pelvic floor first, which then connects the lower abs, which then runs to the back of your spine. Let's do two more. Inhale, let the belly rise. And exhale, contract pelvic floor, lower abs, and wrap. Don't imprint the back. Try and keep a lovely neutral spine. One more inhale. And exhale, contract and gather up. And feel the neutral spine, transverse abdominals, which wrap from the belly all the way around and connect to the spine. So when we learn that we can connect from the pelvic floor, into these lower abs, which then wraps around the body like a corset into our deep abdominal muscles, we will take those movements into our everyday life. Let's end with crossing the legs again. Reach the arms wide. Inhale, exhale, side body bend again, just to stretch and lengthen through the body. And pull. So if you take anything from today's class, I want you just to, in every exercise that you do, just work a little bit more consciously and slowly and know that you need to connect first through the pelvic floor, then the transverse abdominals, and let that connect to your spine to just give you that really beautiful upright lengthening posture and pull tall to release. From here, separate through the legs. Again, you can use your towel if you want. This is not about getting to the floor. It's just to just open up into those inner thighs that we've worked and into that pelvic floor, and then just fold the body over. No need to get the body to the floor. We're just stretching out into it and then take it over to the one side and then lengthen long. And then rotate it to the front, rolling it over, over to the other side. Feel long and tall. And for my postpartum ladies, just know that you're just giving your body that time to heal. For ladies that have had babies 20 years ago, this class is as beneficial to you because if we don't fire into all those correct muscles, you will start feeling the pain in the lower back. 
and into the mid back as well. Thank you everybody for joining me today and I hope you have a fantastic day and um, yeah, look after yourselves. Bye.